All right, and ending off this week, guys, I'm going to be talking about the best relic sets, in, in my opinion, the ones worth wo most worth to get. So let's get into it. Um, basically every aura effect. Okay, well, let me break it down a little bit more. So, in my personal opinion, combat perks are not that good. I talked about that in my other video that I just made recently. Go watch that if you want to hear my thoughts on the combat perks, I guess. But in short, combat perks are really not that good. However, aura effects are. So, I'm going to be explaining which aura effects are the best, uh, what my thoughts on current on the relic sets, and which... And what relic sets do you kind of want to be looking out for when they come? Because I don't know all the relic sets that are they're going to come, obviously. However, I do think that um, I know what the out of the current relic sets that we have, which ones are the best and which ones aren't. So I'm going to be explaining that right now. Um, one relic set that I don't have is Shining Regalia. Now, I think that Shining Regalia is actually debatably top three. Okay, let me break it. Let me see. Shining Regalia. Um... Okay. Okay. Um, I'd rank number one. Mm, I think Divine Demise is the best relic set in the game, actually. Um, upon further thought, if you play a mage class, Divine Demise is the best relic set in the game. Um, you could argue that Heritage is because Heritage gives you multiple great mages or whatever, but. I think Divine Demise is just better because you can transform and regain your amount and then just... You, this... Okay, Divine Demise allows you to make full use of the Taurus Metal, which means that every time you transform, every time you, you leave your transform, you will be able to reapply the Taurus Metal and just keep spamming this, essentially. Which is, every time you transform, you get a 10% damage bonus, which might not seem like a lot but in my opinion all damage matters it just depends on what if you're building like like if you build title like i build all damage matters because i just want to have the highest numbers i can have possibly so i actually think that this um is a so i actually think that um divine demise is the best relic set in my personal opinion in my rankings divine demise is number one number two in my opinion i'm gonna give it to heritage Alright, um, Heritage is the next best relic set, in my opinion. The reason I have Heritage as the next best is because it just resets your transforms. Um, it might not reset you, but it'll reset an ally transform, but however, if you don't transform, it'll re it'll usually pick an ally. I don't know fully how it works, guys, I'm gonna be honest, but all I know is that this is a useful relic set. If you're a support player, I think this is the best relic set for you to ever get in, in the game right now as a support player, because if you're a priest, you're probably not going to be transforming in PvE, or really PvP for that matter. So, which means that every time your, your team will transform, you probably won't get the transform at reset, because you're the one not transforming. So, your one of your DPS will always get the transform reset, so... I think as a support, this is the best one for you, and probably the only relic set I would really recommend getting as a support player. However, if you are a DPS player, I say this is the second best relic set in the game, because I personally have Divine Demise above this, because just being able to re remount and ab abuse the Taurus Metal is just a pretty useful, in my opinion, overall. Just So, yeah. More damage. I, I rank things by damage. You get more damage um, with uh, Divine Demise regardless of what transform you're using and the fact that heritage is also rng there is no guarantee that every every time you enter a dungeon your heritage will trigger to give you the transform reset it might trigger your teammate like 10 times and never and you never so heritage being rng divine demise not needing to be you don't need your holy form active to have a, to, to get the effect of this and it's just yeah I think Divine Demise is number one, Heritage is number two. Number three would be Shining Regalia because you have the cooldown reduction, which allows you to um, bring out your Holy Form earlier, which allows you to get all the bonuses of your Holy Form afterwards. Or, well, sooner, I guess. I, th I believe, I believe that these Holy Skills will not trigger unless your Holy Form is active, which means that Heritage will not trigger with, well, Heritage will not trigger earlier, or start the cycles earlier, I guess, without, um, Shining Regalia. If it, if it works how I think it does, honestly, I'm too lazy to... Let me just... Hold on. I'm, like, pretty sure it works that way. Let me go to the farm real quick and see what, and see what happens. Um, going to the farm. Let's see. Yeah, so your holy, your, your holy skill will not trigger unless your holy form is active. Um, so yeah. 
basically if you don't have if you don't have shiny regalia you lose out on like a whole cycle of it if that makes sense because you you gain you lose 15 seconds and it's cool down to 20 seconds i believe um yeah cd 20 seconds so um yeah just speeds up the process a lot so those are the one two and three sets in my opinion if you disagree with the order um that's fine but the, i still think that those are the one two three transforms the next best one i would say is actually babylon's prisoner this one allows you to not demount while you're in his skeleton mage i feel like this is a very niche one this is useful in certain situations however it's not always going to be useful in every situation that's why i have it at rank four and now the reason i have it above shack yagyu and sharp edge is because sharp edge is very 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 super uber duper ultra mega rng to get and on top of that it's actually not that big a difference especially if, you, if you're using a glove a glove card like apollo cat you're literally just going to be apollo catting and like transforming and your transform is going to probably last 30 seconds so when you transform ends you're going to have apollo cat um if you plus if you don't have a good second glove card like uh let's say you're a low a newer player who doesn't yet have access to the chrono card that means that any other card you use is probably not going to be as effective as your apollo cat so it's better to even if you're someone who, who only uses transforms it's better to just use the apollo cat every single time so that's my thoughts on it um on why I don't think that the the glove skills are that high rating. I think that even the Shaki Yagyu is a guaranteed set, but it's a PvP only, and a lot of the a large majority of the player base actually doesn't PvP or doesn't really take PvP very seriously. So I can't rank Shaki Yagyu very high. Um, last but not least is Path of Divinity, which I have the lowest because it's just a holy damage bonus in PVE dungeons, which is useful, I guess, but at the same time whatever like it's just holy damage bonus or in holy forms for the average player for most people for me do not do that significant of a damage i think it does decent damage it, it helps out i can definitely see that it helps out a little bit but it's overall in my opinion not a make or break thing for me so i don't think this, that's, that's this set is too worth it honestly and i think that's the lowest rank set lowest rank set and then every single combat set i rank lower than those those six sets or seven i don't, I don't know eight i don't know how many sets i just named but yeah, every single combat combat perk is lower rating ranked. So that's my thoughts on it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.